Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my Open TTD Let's Play series. Today we'll be doing a few different things, mainly around the farms that we started last time, but I did promise you would start with some trucks. So let's do that. Of course, if you haven't seen last time, you can check out the link to the playlist in this video's description. Now, when we put the train station in next to this farm, we did already put in the truck depots, and that's because I wanted to do some land adjustments, and if you do too many land adjustments, the local authority might stop you from adding the truck stops. But we've got the truck stops now, and we haven't got to go very far. This, for me, is an ideal situation of when to use road vehicles. When it's not close enough to use spread stations, but a train just really seems like overkill. So we're going to put a few in here. Now, there's a few different ways of doing this sort of thing. Now, if we link that together, let's just check. That says it accepts nothing. Is that because... Hmm. That's weird. Is that a bug? Oh, it doesn't accept nothing. I'm looking for production. Let's remove that tile. There we go. So yes, it does accept nothing because there's not enough houses around, uh, not enough other things around there, but it's going to produce grain and livestock. Silly me. And then we've got this one over here, this farm. So we'll do a similar sort of thing and we won't make the same mistake. Why am I doing the truck stops as far away from the par uh, farm as possible? I'm sure there's a reason. I don't know that reason. There must be a reason. Why do I do it far away from the farm? Well, I know cutting through farmland is quite expensive, especially when you compare it to normal not farmland. And I'm just thinking here, actually, about the way I'm going to have to lay this out. I like to do these multi-road bits like this uh, to have multiple options for the road vehicles to go into. But now I'm just thinking, like, how am I going to connect this up without going up and downhill? I'm going to get rid of the hill. That's the easiest way for me. I suppose another reason for doing it far away from the farm is I'm making the journey shorter, which means that we can be a little bit more efficient with getting the stuff on the train as quickly as possible. It's like road vehicles aren't going to make us a massive amount of money. They never do. Um, well, they... they not compared to trains, okay? You can make good money with road vehicles, don't get me wrong. But compare a good road vehicle journey compared to a good train journey, the road vehicle just doesn't have a chance. So, we're going to do as little as possible with the road vehicles, and as much as possible with the trains. There we go. Now, I've done these little loopy bits to allow us to have a little depot in there, a little road depot in there, and a little road depot in there, just to keep things nice and smooth. Uh, so we've got plenty of options for vehicles to replace and so forth. We're going to need some grain trucks. So what we've got, we've got livestock vans. Yeah, we're going to... Um, bulk truck? Bulk truck, maybe not. Where, oh, do we have a grain truck in this one? Do we have to convert it? Let's have a look. Grain. What can we use for grain? There's the flatbed... The goods, which is just for goods. We've got the tank truck, which is... Doesn't actually say on that screen. Is it because there's not enough room? Capacity, oil. Goods, um... It's because I wasn't looking, because it tells you what the capacity is up here at the top and what it gets refitted to. So, these trucks here, uh, these are coal, primarily. That's just livestock. Hang on a minute. How do we transport grain? Goods truck is just goods. The flatbed is wood, goods, steel and wood. The oil truck is oil. The armoured truck is mail and valuables. The livestock van is livestock. Oh, where do we do grain? Oh, it's there. Coal, grain and iron ore. The bulk truck. It is the bulk truck. I'm just blind. How about how many of you were just shouting, It's there! 
There, the bulk truck had it. Just, no, not that, no, there, right in front of you. <laughs> How many of you was either saying or thinking that? Let me know down in the comments. Or would you, or was you struggling like I was? So I'm going to do a full load here, and I'm going to transfer. Oh no, transfer there. Yeah, transfer and leave empty. Brilliant. And then I will clone that, but not with control. And I will change it so that instead of starting here, we're starting there. There we go. So we've got a grain for each one. Now let's see if I can do the same with the livestock one. Oh wait, there's livestock, brilliant. <laughs> Got it. Um, and again, we're going to full load here, unload there, well not unload, transfer, and then we'll clone it without holding control to, so that we get the right orders. And there we go. Now, we've got one grain and one livestock for each end. Now, with these truck stops, uh, let's just get rid of that for now. Oh, these are pinned by default. I do not want that. There we go. So these truck stops can handle two trucks in each direction. So, unless you do one way, but these aren't. So we can, the, the, the trucks can come in, they can come straight down the road, or they can turn off, pass the depot, and come in the other way. So in theory, we can service up to eight trucks here which means we can have up to seven trucks of each type. Why? Why, why, why? If you know why, let me know in the comments. If you know why, let, uh, let me know. But for now, we're not going to have that many. I will tell you why in a minute. So we're going to have... I think... three of each for now? Four of each let's make it five of each let's be optimistic and then we'll see how it goes we can always get rid of some add some change it around so let's set them on their way and actually unpause the game for a bit and off they go so the reason is is that if you've got a if you've got too many grain trucks going to a relatively small truck stop like this one and you are shifting much more livestock than you are grain, you can actually fill every single space, loading space, with a grain truck, which means that none of the livestock ones can get in there, even though there's livestock waiting. So to avoid that, you usually try and have one less truck than the maximum capacity. Now, in in reality, if your trucks are going backwards and forwards, you're not going to have loads of trucks sat here loading constantly all the time. It's not going to be a problem. But it's something to keep an eye on and something to think about. So there we go. They're all loading up. The trains are loading up. They're bringing all the stuff down here to um, this hub. This is a this is a pre hub, Stratford upon Avon North. No, nope, we're going to make that. Uh, we're going to make that uh, even more of a mouthful. Um, pre hub, pre hub. There we go. Stratford upon Avon pre hub, and we've got livestock and grain coming in. We even get money for transfer, which is nice. Uh, I think we're going to. We're not. I don't think we're going to get a profit out of them. We'll see. If they can be consistently going backwards and forwards, then we might get a profit out of them. But at the moment, we're not getting a lot, a lot of stuff transported. So we'll see how that goes. So there we go. That's the first bit all done and sorted. So that's that little hub sorted out. And we've got room for more down here. Remember we were looking at this second one? Let's sort that out now by disabling everything and turning on the farms. Now we've got three farms right near to the track here. That to me screams this is a good place for the centre of a hub. And then we've got a couple that are not too far away. Maybe these ones as well. I'm not 100% sure about these three. They just seem a little bit far. But we need to throw a lot at this thing. So before we go ahead and put our brand new hub in over here... Uh, which will connect up to this second set of platforms. We've got them all ready and available. We sorted them out last time. 
let's just nip over to Caution Interchange and see how things are going. Oh, they're not going too great. We've still got nearly 7,000 passengers sat here. Let's try and work out why. I think we have had the game paused quite a bit. It looks like the flood of buses, let's see, that we sent off have just completed or are completing their first journeys. The problem is, is that not only are we getting more buses to get things out of Corsham Interchange, but we're actually getting more people from the surrounding villages in to Corsham Interchange as well. Well, that's not great. I mean, it is kind of great. We're getting a lot of income for it. Look at all these transfer incomes. We have got a few broken down vehicles. I'm not sure why they're not servicing too well. The age, reliability, 84%. For a brand new vehicle, come on, 84% reliability. 80% now, it's going down. Oh, did I say 80? Oh, 60. Maybe it needed servicing and that's why it broke down. Hmm, let's have a look at this one. That one's 80 as well. That one's 74. Okay, so they do rely quite heavily on the um, on the servicing. I wonder what the de default service interval for these ones are. Is 20%. Ooh. Yeah, that's that. Maybe we should up that. Maybe we should adjust the default service uh, let's change it service u r v no s e r v i c e is that right i can't spell service intervals are in percents on default service interval here we go look we changed it for trains to be 10 percent but for road vehicles it's still set to 20. well let's get that changed 10 percent for you and you know what while we're here 10 percent for the ships and 10% for the aircraft. I mean, not that we've got any aircraft at the minute. Maybe we should put a few aircraft in here and there. But there we go. That should help with all the breakdowns that we're seeing here. And um, hopefully that will get that nice and fixed. Right, we'll come back to Corsham Interchange at a later date. But let's have a look at our farms down here. So we've got one on the other side of the track. One just up here. And one there. Now I don't think I can get a station that will capture both. Let's have a look. No, I think having a station that would capture both was a little bit optimistic. I mean, if we have an extra long platform, we, we probably could. That supplies grain and livestock. That supplies grain and livestock. I mean, we could go from here to there just have an extra long platform I like it that will do that will do nicely okay it is it cheating I don't think I don't think it is I I know let me know if you think that's cheating down in the comments putting long platforms in to gain better coverage I don't think it is I think it's okay so I'm going to put a path signal directly before the split here and because this is a row row station and these lines connect up at the end like this we don't want the trains to uh, have to wait for each other and, and consider this whole thing one block so we will just bring ourselves around like that uh, let's make that a little bit neater I guess if I bring like that I, I guess that looks neater yeah I'm, I think I'm happy with that and then we want at least one train lengths in here so we'll give seven blocks just to be sure and then we'll merge the two tracks together because these are the two different pickup points one for wheat and one for livestock and we make sure we've got enough room for a double depot right before it double depots if you can do a double depot always do a double depot there is never a reason not to do, well actually there is probably somewhere for some reason a reason not to do a double depot i can't think of one right now so maidenhead so we've got apparently this th these are maidenhead 
which is fine. Maiden head and oh, I got rid of too much. <sighs> I broke my head. There we go. Uh, livestock. Live stock. Strock. Livestock. Okay, and then this one. I think I've done this the other way around from what I normally do. But it doesn't matter. Grain. Right. So we've got that bit going in here, and then we. I'm going to have these two merge there, and I'm going to give them. I'm going to give them an after station depot, just because I'm being kind. There we go. So there, there's the in. There's the out. We just need signals on the end of the platforms, like I was saying. We don't want this to be all, all the platforms to be considered one massive block. And then we'll have yeah, signals on the end here. I'll remove all that. Yeah, we'll put some signals there to help with flow. It doesn't really matter too much. And then I guess a signal there and maybe one there. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, okay, fine. That that's that's close enough. That'll do. What we don't want is the farms to close down, but luckily in this series we are pl uh, playing with the um build when paused option turned on, which we don't normally do. So if we come straight up north from here, apart from going across this track, which I think is the London to Birmingham line, what do we get to? We go past Milton Keynes. Wellingborough, up to Kettering, Uppingham, and then I guess we hit that line. Okay, yep, yeah, we're going to do that. We're just going to keep going up. So we'll have a kink here to bring it together. Although what we will do is that we will kind of come to um, the right-hand side if we need to do any kinking. So... Let's see, we've got quite a lot of land to mess around with here. So I'm going to press E for the leveling tool. And just level our way through this. There we go, fantastic. And this bit should be relatively straightforward because we just come right up to it and then tunnel. Brilliant. Now remember, if you want to support the channel, the best way you can do that is through the Viewer Plus program. And if you want to know more about that, head out to my website, masterhellish.net. You can support me and get some excellent benefits as well in return as a thank you. Uh, other ways you can support me is uh, the merch, the T-shirt and all those sorts of things. Um, there's, there's all sorts on the store and they're all over at hellishstore.net. So feel free to head out and check that out. And of course... It doesn't. You don't have to open up your purse or wallet to support the channel. You can support the channel by leaving your comments, popping likes on the videos, sharing videos with your friends and family, people you know at work, and uh, letting other people know on the internet know. There's people on Reddit, on forums, on various different places around the world that need to know about these videos because you know what? They're all right. And um, <laughs> a bit more of a serious note, for those who do support the channel, thank you very much. It's, it's very much appreciated. Right, Milton Keynes. Apart from having too many weird roundabouts, I'm talking real life, uh, Milton Keynes is now in the way of our railway line. And I think the only reasonable way to deal with this would be either dig under it or kink round it. And they're not going to let us remove their... I think we're going to go around. We are. We're, we're going to go around. Because... it. I think it would be a relatively large tunnel. And I want to avoid that. I don't like large tunnels. I know I could do... Uh, should I do it properly? Oh, right. You know what? I'll do it, the, I'll do it properly. Somebody is going, what do you mean do it properly? Why, 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 are you, why are you avoiding the large tunnels? What's going on? What's he talking about? I'll show you. Right, let's make those trees transparent so we can see what we're doing. 
we're going to do a large tunnel and i i did this last time but i don't know if i explained it well so i'm definitely going to have another go what i'm going to do is i'm going to double up each track so one track goes in and doubles up the other track goes in and doubles up and then we have on the other side wherever it's appropriate not quite sure where let's see where the tunnel lies yep there we go we have the other end and they need to join back up again but to join back up again we do it in the opposite order so this one which was the spur becomes the main and the main comes onto the uh, the old main which is now a spur comes onto it so again look you're coming down here this is the main bit this is the main tunnel this then becomes the spur then you have the spur and this becomes the main like that and you do that for balance okay to keep each of those two pieces of track the same length so I'm just going to put signals down there. Is that the right way round? Yeah, it is. Okay, and down there. Cool. Are they travelling the... Yeah, they are travelling the same way. And then we've got to go onto this road, but this road is not used. So we can remove it. And... I think we're going to make the track come up one and then we're going to have at least one full length of track full train length and then we'll bring it over to join this one just so that we don't get this left hand turn uh, sorry this right hand turn here coming out the tunnel and then another right hand turn straight after it because if you do more than one of the same turns within a train length that's where a train can slow down there we go Diggy dig dig digger digger tunnel. Right now, how far have we got to go? Quite a little way. Looks like we're gonna hit a coal mine next. So it hmm. I was gonna say, so we might go to the uh, to this side of Earl's Barton, but then I think we'll hit Wellingborough. Yeah, we'll hit the edge of Wellingborough. And then smash into Kettingen at uh, Kettering. Although, look at this. I can see a gap down here that's much more appealing than trying to get... Oh, I didn't mean to put that piece of track there. Um, uh, yeah, I can see I can see it much more appealing. So let's go... Which land height is about right? I think... It's difficult to say. I mean, we can measure it by going like this. You see that that's level. If it wasn't level, it would say minus 50 or plus 50. So if you put a piece of track down, you can tell those two end pieces are level. So this is actually the height that we want to go to on this higher piece. So let's start next to this. I think it's a factory. Level that out and put the railway line next to it. There we are. That's that's a good gap. Now, now we have to make our real, uh, railway line hit this gap. And I think it's going to be quite easy, actually. There appears to be something just there, so we'll come a little bit further south. There we go. And then I'm just going to level the land across here. Yeah, I thought as much. We're going to have to go up. It's not a problem. There we go. Um... We're going to go up or down. Go like that. There we go. Beautiful. Fantastic. Great. And then we're going to go next to this line and then do tunnels here the same. So let's do the tunnels here. Now it looks like, yeah, we're going to crash into a depot if we just do it exactly the same. So what we'll do is we'll do it one square further back there. So these ones are actually going to be a little bit longer. So it um, these ones are alright actually, I didn't need to do that. 
So one side it's okay, the other side I put it closer. Never mind. So tunnel, 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 tunnel. And master, 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 secondary, secondary, switcheroo. There we go. Brilliant. And then they these just need to hook up here. I guess, am I going to hit the, the forest? No. Nice. And then can I... Oh, steady. There we go. Brilliant. So let's get that all sorted. That looks good to me. Signals here. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Have I done this the right way around? No, I just did this bit the wrong way around. They want to be there and like that. There we go. There we go. Fuff. I thought I did that wrong then. So then we've got these bits to connect up. And the question is, do we try and nip under Stamford? Yes. Yes, we do. You want to do the most direct route as possible. Because the di <laughs> the distance for in OpenTTD is, is calculated in, I think, what they call a Manhattan distance. I don't know if that is the, right, the, like the global term for that way of doing distances and journeys. I've got a funny feeling it's not. It might be a colloquialism, is that the word? word wordiness is no, hasn't been my strong point ever. And um, I'm just concentrating on this bit. And uh, yeah, uh, it, basically it's um, the square. It's the square distance when you're doing tri triangles. I, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I did A level maths. I did A level maths. I passed. <laughs> yes, I, I I don't know my times tables. Not all of them, but I did A level maths and I succeeded. It would have been easier. <laughs> If I knew my times tables, but never mind. Right then, let's have a look. So coming out of here and coming. Oh, did anybody spot this? Right, coming out of the tunnel, you need at least one square. I mean, I couldn't leave that shorter. You need at least one square to be able to get the signals in. Did anybody else spot that? I'm glad I spotted it before the end of the episode, though. And by the way, thank you very much for all your comments on the episodes. I do read them. I reply to as many as I can. And uh, I do go around the network doing the fixes that you guys have shown me that uh, I've missed. <laughs> so there we go. Right. Well, there we have it. We have another set of platforms hooked up to a brand new hub. And we're going to we're going to actually take the name from the waypoint rather than the nearby station because I think Maidenhead is a good a good name. Maiden Head, it's all one word. Head um, Hub. There we go. Fantastic. Now we haven't got any trains in just there just yet, but we've done a good job of putting that line in. It's um it's nice and straight. Where we've got short tunnels, there's just short tunnels. Where we've got longer tunnels, we've doubled up the line. And we've kept it as direct as possible, kinking gently to the right, gently again cutting across and into Whole Beach Factory. Which hopefully should be starting to shift more crates of goods. We're up to 2,000 crates of goods uh, last month, which is not the best, but um, we're getting better. And next time, next time, what I think we'll do is we'll finish off the Maidenhead Farm Hub because we've got to get um, Wokingham Farm in there and potentially the other two that are up here. And then I'll, we'll have a look around maybe to see if we can put some airports in, do you think? Let me know what you think down in the comments about adding a few airports in. Just, you know, we've got everything except aeroplanes, haven't we? Let's have a look. 
yeah, we've got no aeroplanes, but we've got some ships, we've got a load of road vehicles, and we've got a load of trains. So, even though, you know, they're my least favourite of the four, doesn't mean I dislike them so much. I mean, it might be nice to have a few flying around. Potentially around London would be nice. Let me know what you think. Where shall I put planes in and how much? Um, but there we go. That's going to be all for now. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you get the notification bell so you are aware of all the brand new videos like this and the other ones I'm doing. And if you're interested in watching live streams, I am currently at the time of recording doing a Kerbal Space Program Let's Play and I'm just about to start, or I have just started, a RimWorld Live Let's Play as well. Um, it's not trains, it's not transport and it's not space but it's a really good game and we're going to be putting the, the viewers inside the game to see if they can survive but that's all for now thank you very much for watching and until I see you next time goodbye